everyone, it's Pat from Seattle Coffee Gear and I'm here today with another Eureka Minion Line Overview video. Today we're going to be talking about the Minion Espresso line. So uh, we've got here the Eureka Minion Note, the Minion Silenzio, and the Minion Specialita. These again are the espresso grinders in the Minion line. Uh, we did do a line overview of uh, Eureka's brew minion grinders so uh go ahead and check that out if you are interested in a slow brew grinder for like pour over cold brew drip brewing that sort of thing these grinders are going to be specifically for espresso and they're not going to really function well for uh the slow brewing methods so let's get started by talking about some of the things that these uh, grinders have in common the first one is going to be that these all have this pretty uh solid case and component design. Um, lots of metal casing and components on the inside. Uh, they're built really, really solidly. They're some of the um, most impressively built grinders that we carry in their price range for sure. Uh, and then they all also feature a stepless burr adjust, which is going to be these dials that sort of uh, screw up and down. So instead of clicking through burr settings, they're going to give you a full range of motion through their settings. That means they can be a little bit trickier to dial in initially, but once you learn to use them, it means that you get really precise control over your grind, so you can get the like perfect grind setting for sort of a tricky single origin or to get like very specific flavors for different kinds of shots. So, with that in mind, they're you know very precise, and the burrs all adjust from the bottom, so to take them apart for cleaning, you don't actually have to screw up your grind setting. So once you dial in one coffee, typically uh, dialing in other coffees is going to be a fairly similar burr setting. So since they adjust from the bottom, you can clean them between hoppers full of coffee without losing that setting and have to start from scratch. So it means a little less wasted coffee in the dialing in process. So again, those are features that all three of these grinders have. Let's go into the specific models uh, to talk a little bit about what separates these different grinders. So first we have the Minion Note. This is sort of the entry level, most affordable espresso grinder in the range. And it's really one of the best values for an espresso grinder you can find anywhere because it does give you that stepless precision adjust. It has uh, a really great burr set in it that makes for really consistent, really precise grounds. It grinds uh, relatively quickly for grinders at this price level and basically kind of starts giving you that more prosumer level of uh, performance at a really, really solid price point. The thing that it does to kind of get down to that price point is it is very simple to operate, which actually isn't so much of a bad thing if you're starting out anyway because there's not really much separating you from the machine, the grinder itself, and the coffee coming out. So. The way that you work this grinder is it has a rocker switch back here for on and off, and then you're basically just going to push your portafilter in, and we'll show this in a little bit, in here on this button, and you get your grinds out. There's no timed settings, there's no dosing settings, and uh, you'll have to kind of weigh all that stuff out manually ahead of time. Um, one thing you can do to make it sort of not an issue, and this is something you should be doing if you are just getting started brewing with brewing espresso at home anyway, is you can weigh out your beans before you put them in the hopper, and then you can put them in the hopper and uh, pull just that amount of coffee, and then you'll get the right amount for your shot. Um, it's something that's, that we call single dosing, and uh, this grinder is a pretty good candidate for that for espresso if, you are, um, if you're just starting out. Next up, we have the Silenzio. So the Silenzio has a lot of the features of the Note, but it's also got a little dial down here for um, timing. So it's not a super precise, like down to the millisecond timer, but you can set it up so that it'll grind just that amount for you, which means you can dial in very close to direct amounts every time that you grind so that you don't have to necessarily weigh your beans out ahead of time. You'll have to dial in the timer as part of the dialing in process to time it for the right amount of grounds. But once you do that, you get a pretty consistent uh, grind every time you press the button. Uh, otherwise, you use that timer in conjunction with the button down here, just like on the Note. And uh, this grinder also has, and this is why it's called the Silenzio, some uh, sound baffling built into it. So it's noticeably quieter than the Note. In fact, the Minion line on up, the sound baffling carries over to the Specialita as well, is really impressive. They're super quiet. 
for, again, for this price range. So moving on to the Special Alita. Uh, this one, as you can see, one of the big features of it right off the bat is that it has uh, more color options than the other grinders in the line. So you can get this one in several colors. They change sometimes, so I don't want to get too specific, but obviously you have the red here. There's a chrome finish one. Uh, so it has these, these really striking colors. It also has very noticeable, this pretty bright and vibrant touch, little touch screen on it too. Um, this is uh, not like the touchscreen on your phone necessarily. It's more of a like capacitive digital display, uh, but it does allow you to set specific times down to the uh, millisecond um, to get your grounds right. And it has two settings, one for single dose, one for double shots. Uh, so, or one for single shot and double shot. So this one is gonna give you even more precision when it comes to dialing in your timing on your shot. It still has the quieter design that the Silenzio has, and then it has all of the other you know, good features, plus has slightly larger burr set in it that's gonna grind the coffee a little bit faster than the other ones in the line. Um, one thing you'll notice if you're used to watching baristas pull shots on uh, commercial professional grinders is that um, they go pretty fast. They'll put it in and it'll just take a few seconds. These are gonna take a little bit longer just because they have smaller home burr sets. Uh, and that makes them more affordable and allows them to kind of like fit on your countertop. So that kind of covers the surface level differences. Let's uh, get into the grinding so you can hear each of these grinders and get an idea for what they look like when they're in use. So let's take a look at what using these grinders looks like and maybe more importantly, sounds like. So I've got my porta filter here. And again, this, these have this push button in the front and you can kind of rest the porta filter on the fork. Um, you wouldn't want to just leave the porta filter sitting on the fork while the other ones grind because the vibration can make it fall off. But it's a nice place to sort of lock it in and get uh, know that you are grinding in the right spot. So on the note, again, since it's manual, I'm going to need to hold the porta filter in for as long as I want the grind to go. And we're all good. Notice not a ton of static in there, and um, these grinders have really good anti-clumping. So uh, they're not going to clump up too much. Uh, for the Silenzio, you're going to want to notice the sound difference in it. Uh, I'm going to push this little timer button in so that it grinds in timed mode, grinding the amount that I uh, set on this dial. Much quieter. And then the last one we'll take a look at is the Specialita here. So I have it set to five seconds for the uh, single shot option here. And I'm just gonna push it and uh, watch the screen too on this one when it, as it goes. And we get it to stop. I have a little bit more than I wanted there. But uh, as you can see, they do get a lot quieter uh, with the Silenzio and the Specialita, but the note is pretty manageable and, uh, and very simple to use. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out the crew reviews of each of these grinders if you have any more questions. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and get subscribed for more coffee content. Oh, yes.